Okay, hey everyone. Um, it's Johnny. It is Thursday. It is my day. Mine, mine alone. And before we get started, I want to tell you. Well, first I want to tell you if you can see. I don't know if you can see why I'm in my boxers. And it is because it is unbelievably fucking hot in my room. Questions, questions, questions. I'm going to start with Nick's. Why? Because his is the most complicated to repeat. And his question is, if you and three other people were sitting at a table having a personal conversation and some... A uh, person just comes up and sits down at your table and starts eating. Would you get up and leave? Would you be like, bitch, what the fuck you doing? Get up off my grill and make them leave. Or would you be like, hey man, what's going on? And let them stay and let them join in the conversation. I personally would be like, what's going on? And he would be like, I'm eating, and I'd be like, cool. And then I'd ask him uh, if he would rather be um, a man with a vagina or a woman with a penis, and see what he'd say. Um, good feedback, you know what I mean? Good feedback. I, moving on to um, the question of whether I would be a man with a vagina or a woman with a penis, I'm gonna have to say, after critical thinking, this has took some real hard thought, and, um, because I've never thought about this question before. How dare you judge me? Um, anyways, yeah, I would rather be a woman with a penis, because I am, I am heavily attached to my penis, um, both physically and uh, metaphorically, I, I'm attached. Uh, I really enjoy my penis, and I think I might miss it. Uh, and I'm not saying that I don't like vaginas, because um, I like vaginas a lot. Go vaginas. I'm just not sure I would rather have one. But I'm not saying if it could be for like a day, I'd definitely switch, switch out to see what that was like. I bet a lot of you would do the same. <laughs> oh, did you guys notice that I have black hair now? Or were you just watching this video being like, I know something's different about him. Did he shave? What, was, what the fuck was the other question? I can't remember. Oh, it was Lacey's question. I can't believe I forgot. I have such a crush on Lacey. Damn you, California, and being so far away. Um... And her question was, would you, what's your perfect mate? My perfect mate, it has to be smart. And um, that's really important. That's like number, numer uno is being intelligent. Uh, because, uh, which leads on to number two, because if you don't have attraction, then a relationship would never work out. And, uh, I mean, attraction isn't really, like, just the looks of someone. is isn't, like, them, just their appearance. But it's everything wrapped into a little package. A little package of love. And without um, intelligence, attraction for me isn't there. Because, seriously, uh, it's not a shallow thing or a conceited thing. It's that if... Um, the girl can be as the most beautiful girl in the world, but if she's stupid, you know, what's the point? I would get bored quick. And that's another thing. I have to... It's very rare that I find a girl that um, interests me. Like, that I actually am, am attracted to because uh, a lot of people, I think, um, can't handle me. Like, I'm, I'm a little... I'm, I'm an oddball, I'm not going to lie. So it's... Whatever. And, uh, okay, and my perfect mate has to uh, want to play old Nintendo with me. Well, playing old Nintendo is, like, probably one of the best things in the world. Um, 
Yeah. And they also have to want to cuddle. Uh, cuddling is a big, is high up on my list of um, favorite pastimes. And they have to be, they have to want to spend the night. Because I think that that is cute. I think spending the night together is um, awesome. Oh, and they have to be able to spend the night. Like, you can't, I mean, if, if someone has like a crazy father, it's nothing against them. Um, <coughs> I don't even but if uh, someone has a crazy father it, or mother, it it just doesn't work out. If you're if you're an adult and your parents refuse to let you be one, I'm sorry, but I that's not something I want to deal with. And I'm not saying I can't make an like, exception for someone like super special, but as a general rule of thumb, no. My perfect mate um, has to not be prude. Uh, because it just doesn't work out with it just being proved doesn't work out that well for me because I get frustrated and it's just no fun for either person but uh, a lot of people like to have girlfriends or boyfriends that are exactly like them that are like as close to mere image as you can get and I don't I think that is boring I would I would get bored not only that but I would not want to date a me and I would not want to date someone who was like me. I want to date someone who was like um, themselves, you know? But damn it. Uh, California. Time to answer my own questions. What do I do on my free time? Um, I do awesome on my free time. Uh, it's actually a part-time job. Um, but really, I'm nerdy. I like to play video games sometimes. Except video games have gone down in my uh, has been minimized in my life because I'm busy and uh, I just I, I, I'm not I don't have time to enjoy them. Now, I have my A plus certification, which is a computer certification, and I like I like fixing computers. And if you go to my own channel and go way back, way back. You can see like some um, computer tutorials I did because back then I thought that I would that's what I wanted to do on YouTube and then it turns out that wasn't what I wanted to do on YouTube and so I started making the atheism videos but I'm thinking that I want to stop going just atheism videos and start doing more about everything uh, what are my views on file sharing uh, I have mixed views on file sharing um, because um, there's, there's so many different aspects of it and so many different, uh, it's hard to really get a precise um, definition on what exactly it is and what, how exactly I feel. Because um, intellectual property, there's no doubt that if someone spends the time to create something, it's theirs and they deserve um, to be able to make money from it if they want to. Although I'm a big um, supporter of free things like open source and things like that, or Creative Commons, things that are put under, under the Creative Commons license. But um, also, it, it depends, because I've talked to, for music, just like, let's talk about music sharing in particular right now. Um, I've talked to a lot of indie bands, and I'm gonna use um, my favorite indie artist uh, as an example, Kevin Devine. Uh, I'll put a link to his MySpace in the right-hand column, because he's amazing. and. He was signed to, uh, he got signed uh, to a major record label, I think Virgin, and they ended up uh, downsizing and letting a whole bunch of their artists go, and he was one of the one that, ones that got let go. And so his album made with that record company, um, anyone who buys it now, he, he doesn't really get any money from it. Um, I'm, I don't even believe he makes any money from it, literally like nothing. Um, wow, I say him a lot. So, what what really uh, helps smaller indie bands is when you down if you do end up downloading their music and and you end up going to the shows um, fuck I need to stop saying them a lot of the smaller bands will make money from the actual ticket sales and from uh, selling merchandise at the show and that's something you gotta take into consideration why okay my question my question is on your own personal video on your own personal channel why do you make the videos What's your inspiration? Why do you do it? And what's the importance in your life? 